heat and humidity will be back before we know it. And ladies, we all know, and some guys, what those conditions can do to our hair. Joining me now with some advice on how to keep the locks under control is lifestyle expert Nakia Nichelle. And Nakia, what is the number one thing people can do to help control all this? So the number one thing is first cut back off of that heat. I know a lot of people love the heat styling tools, but they actually can cause um, damage to your hair and additional frizz to your locks. So instead, try to rock a humid humidity-free hairstyle. <laughs> and I know that's like, what is that? So top knots are really popular as well as a fun bun. And buns are always great protective styles. They're sassy, they're classy, and you can either wear sleek or, you know, a little bit messy. It'll take you from day to night. So tip number three that you always want to keep mindful of is keep cool. I know we're in a rush a lot of times. We curl our hair, we leave out the door, but take a few minutes, put the brakes on. Once you curl your hair, just sit with either some rollers to set it about five or 10 minutes in the AC. And another thing that you could do, Red, Red Book actually um, suggests it. But stick your head in the freezer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're, you're. Some people might just do that to cool off. Exactly. In general, yeah, so. I, I've never tried that, but I've done that to cool off. So yeah. That's, but so that just kind of helps to set the curls so that they don't exactly. Drop out. It does. It helps set the curls because what ends up happening is with the heat and heat it causes extra frizz when you step outside. So just think of it like you think of your body. When you drink water, it kind of cools things off and sets things in your body. So that's a great way. And speaking of your body, be nice to it. Just like you're, you're putting good things in your body, do that same thing with your hair. Your cuticle is your friend. You want to be very gentle on your hair. I mean, try to, again, like I said, stay away from heat styling tools. But if you can't do that, I like sleeping with a silk pillowcase. That helps a lot. Before you know it, you'll walk out and you're like, oh my God, amazing. Another thing is, or a silk cap, if you don't like the pillowcase idea. And then the last thing that I do to just be nice and kind to my cuticle is I also um, use, uh, instead of using like a, a hair dry, you know, your mm -hmm. regular bath towel, use an old t-shirt after an intense wash, an intense condition, a DIY protein treatment. Put that little t-shirt on your hair, wrap it up and let it set. And that helps too. And the last thing is, really cool. I love hats. Embrace that hat head, you know? A lot of people think that during the summer months that you can't wear a hat. I think opposite. It's great for indoors, outdoors, very trendy looks. You have the fedora as well as a big brim hat that can you can put that on, leave out the house, and no one's the wiser. Yeah, I was going to say, and that's also the easier way. You don't have to worry about any of the styling or anything. Just hide it under the hat. Hide it under the hat. And it gives hat. your hair a break from everything. Exactly. And then not only that, it protects your skin, too. There you go. So you have a double whammy. Wonderful. What a bonus. Great right? advice. Well, thank, thank you. you so much, Nikia, for coming in this morning. And no problem. Talking with us.